So I joined a couple of years ago. Uh, I'm, I'm currently on the fast stream, but they let you dive right in. Uh, so I had a couple of weeks training and, and here I am. Uh, as for me, I'm a really newcomer. Uh, so I passed the uh, exam for the French Ministry of Royal Affairs and I started my training a month ago, but before I was working as a short-term contract in Stockholm. Uh, I began uh, teaching French abroad and then afterwards I, I worked as a contract worker for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in France and I presented and passed the competitive exam uh, this year, so that's where I arrived. So I previously uh, worked in Parliament in a number of uh, research and advisory roles and also for a think tank um, working on UKE relations. Well, I think for me it just shows sort of how like-minded we are. Um, you know, for all the differences that are played up in the press, uh, actually we agree on most issues. It's also very nice to share our own backgrounds. Like for instance, uh, I noticed at um, FCDU there's a lot of um, colleagues, of your colleagues that have an economic background and I thought it was very different from us. We did a um, crisis management uh, simulation and it was really beneficial to um, yeah, sort of compare and contrast the French and UK um, ways of approaching that. I think language. <laughs> the main difficulty for French diplomats to get in the ministry is to speak at least English in another language. As for you, I understand that you have um, a very strong language training uh, a bit later on in your career. Can we pass this question? <laughs> France, obviously. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>